What is up, people? A few months ago, I did a video talking about how I didn't think we would see Alpha 2 until quarter one of 2023 at the earliest. Well, as each month goes by, I've been getting a little bit more optimistic, and I want to talk about why it is possible that Alpha 2 could start this year, or at least spot testing leading up to Alpha 2 could. But before we get into this, 81.1% of you watching these videos still aren't subscribed. So I really don't know what you 81% of people are doing, but click that subscribe button because there's loads of Ashes of Creation content to come and we are only 1% away from hitting our goal of 20% subscribed. Alpha 2 is meant to be an ongoing test, so ongoing that Alpha 2 leads straight into the betas and after the launch of the game, the Alpha 2 servers are meant to be the PTR for testing upcoming content. So really, everything that we know is going to be in Alpha 2 at some point does not have to be in it at the launch. Meaning, although we still haven't seen a lot of the classes, we know they're being worked on just because we haven't seen all the biomes, we know those are being worked on, we know naval content and nodes are being worked on, combat is, seasons are looking great, and Alpha is a testing ground. Intrepid could easily launch Alpha 2 with some of the content to get more focused testing and as more content gets completed, add it in. Maybe even turning on and off certain content to get more specific feedback as the large amounts of content Intrepid is adding to Alpha 2 isn't something you want to add all at once or else you could potentially not get as structured feedback as you want. So when Alpha 2 does launch, I expect a slow feed of content when it's ready. So really Really, Intrepid could if they wanted to throw Alpha 2 out at any point for the players to test. But they won't. Because Alpha 2 is really the big reveal for Ashes. To show off these systems that are ready for the world to see. So you are going to get a fairly polished first look with no NDA. Because unfortunately the internet likes to assume everything is the final product. And it could really set Ashes of Creation back if Intrepid shows them something so unfinished with no NDA. Because the internet is going to consume that and get toxic and say it sucks. And even if it's not the final product. That's just what they do. If they did it with with Alpha 1, even though Alpha 1 was fairly well polished, and they're gonna keep doing it. This is still an Alpha though, so there will be bugs, and it won't be the whole game, and so on and so forth. You've heard the spew before, and it's not going to be perfect, but I expect it to be fairly well polished even still. The biggest thing that ties an MMORPG together is the combat, and I really think that is the big piece we are waiting for. We saw our first look at the basic weapon attacks last month. We know we're seeing the Ranger class kit in September, and as Intrepid starts to put the classes back together with the ranger and the three alpha one classes we got with the tank cleric and mage and all their revisions that'd be a great start to alpha 2 we don't need all eight archetypes to start they can add them a bit at a time but i have a feeling once this combat is where intrepid wants it to things are going to start moving forward a lot faster than we expect and if intrepid is getting ready to show us the full class kits then i think we may almost be at that point where combat is in a testable state and something that i believe should go very heavy on the the spot tests or alpha tests in general because combat is something that you want huge focus testing around you don't want to mess it up when the game launches because it is a crucial part to mmorpgs we also know that almost all of the nine races have a model and are in game they may not have all of their character customization ready to go but you don't need 100 of the customization for an alpha test we know that all the node perks and buildings are completed for the node as steven confirmed in july that they've been done for a little bit now and are undergoing implementation and testing. And honestly, combat races and nodes are really the huge features that set up everything else. They give you the core gameplay of Ashes of Creation and like I said, the world doesn't have to be fully opened up to us at the start of Alpha 2. They can always add content down the road. The big issue with doing any of this though is the longer you keep the Alpha open, the more there is for potential burnout. I mean, look at Star Citizen, a kickstarted game that has been in Alpha testing for years with no end in sight. By the time the game launches, people may have very little interest left. The same thing happened with Crowfall, an MMO with very big potential, stayed in public testing for way too long, and had a failed launch, and the studio actually ended up laying off a ton of people because nobody was playing their game. This is a very hard balance that Intrepid needs to keep a handle on with Ashes to prevent it from failing. But with that being said, I am very optimistic that we could potentially see spot testing in October, after the Ranger reveal in September, 
or maybe just go full on alpha 2. We could be clinging too much to that spot testing thing as it's something that Intrepid may have decided not to go with and just didn't tell us. They could just go full charge into alpha 2 because it's kind of the same thing if you do it the right way. You don't need the spot testing if alpha 2 is going to be open for months. But if we don't see any testing by the end of October, then I doubt we see any until 2023. I doubt Intrepid is going to drop its most intensive tests around the holidays. They seem to be very dedicated to their staff and making the majority of the studio work through Thanksgiving and Christmas to maintain the chaotic alpha servers just doesn't seem like something they would do. But with that being said, I feel like there is a very small chance that we will see Alpha 2 this year. It's not a big chance, and again, this is just my opinion based on how things are going, but we have seen a huge run-up this year on content for Ashes. We've seen the character creator, we've seen combat, we've seen seasons, we've seen a look at all the races now, which is a ton more than we even got for Alpha 1. We know naval content is being heavily worked on, we've seen teases of that with ships, we've seen teases for the buy Biomes. We've seen new biomes, we've seen the desert, we've seen the riverland, we've seen those snowy mountains in the Unreal 5 engine reveal, and I think that a lot of people feel like Alpha 2 is still years out, but I don't think that's the case. They have so much content up their sleeves that they probably haven't even shown us. The world might not be completely filled, the combat might not be perfect, the professions might not be 100% done, but I feel like it's getting really close to a testing state. When do you guys think we're going to see Alpha 2? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums or just get ready to enter the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.